All you need to make the butter like we were talking about before is just whatever whip heavy whipping cream that you want. So we choose we chose to do organic heavy whipping cream. Um, now this is this one what is it a half a pint? no it's one pint. This one pint is actually three dollars and fifteen cents if you get it from uh, Vitamin Cottage or whatever it's called now the natural na uh, natural grocer. So but all you need is this and some type of mixer like so you can put it from what I understand in a blender you could put it in this you know my wife's stand stand mixer but my wife she normally likes to put this in the freezer uh, for a long period of time until it's cold well we've been you know it's been sitting out for about a minute or two and it gets warm it gets room temperature quickly so all you have to do is you know of course just pour the heavy cream in there and it's kind of thick as you could probably see and mind you now the, the, with the price of butter and everything like it is now it's about five dollars or, or more if you get a pound of butter and it can hold on Asia, hold on it can be either you know organic or not organic you know it depending on what store you go to what sales they do or do not have it, it just really depends on the week or the month it seems but right now with the price of butter going up this is about it's a bit cheaper to do a little bit cheaper to do this than to actually buy the butter now and I won't ruin it for you but you know we'll also tell you kind of towards the end how much this actually makes this right, minute so I normally try to play with it between three and four but four is kind of too fast you can kind of like play with it and put it in the middle. Now this process it takes about 20 minutes, so but it can it can vary. But the consistency of the, the actual butter or the, the heavy cream changes while it's in the in the in the mixer. So my daughter wants to come and look at this. So it's getting a little bit frothy right now. It's a, in about a, a few minutes or less, it's gonna start turning into whipped cream. Now just as like some side information, this one pint, you can actually, it makes so it makes about one, it makes two, about two sticks of butter, depending it might be a little more, a little less. Now you can actually make, you know, it, it's already unsalted, there's no taste in this. If you were to taste this right now, it's very bland. It doesn't taste quite like milk, it doesn't taste much like anything. Um, but, you know, so the, the raw butter product that you're making is going to be unsalted. So if you wanted, you know, like we normally do, like for myself, because I like salted butter, just add salt, salt to it, you know, my wife mixes it in uh, after it's done. And we have, we make one stick, you know, maybe a quarter of a stick uh, salted and then the rest is all unsalted. So at some point when this is done, it'll start, it will, here I'll just kind of stick to what's going on now. It's getting actually thicker, the frothiness is going away. It's getting thicker, it's starting to turn into, into whipped cream. Hence why it's called heavy whipping cream. So this is the kind of the, the less interesting part, but it starts to get there. So I mean, of course people used to churn their butter and all that. This is, you know, this is the different stages that the butter was trying to take. So I can see it now. You might not be able to make it out in the video, but it's getting thicker. I'm going to stop it so you can see. But you see there, you probably can see there might be some bubbles inside of the, the, the milk and every and inside of there.
there's pretty much no nothing that you have to do. I mean, this is basically it. You just throw it in this stand mixer. Now, I've never seen, I'm sure there are videos on YouTube um, on how to, uh, what is it, how to do it with a, a blender. Some people, they get like a plastic, uh, like a glass jar, like a mason jar. This is something else. But they get, they put it in, they put it, would put it in something like this and they would continue to shake it until it, it does this same process, until it returns from cream, uh, from like the heavy uh, cream to whip whipped cream and then into then it's butter so it comes a little closer just so you can see like inside of there so it's it's actually getting it's becoming very very thick and it, you can see that it now has like the consistency of like kind of a creamy, it's just creamy. Now, some of, there's a brand of organic uh, butter that I've seen that, that I like. I like, the, I like the brand, but the butter I've never bought because it's so expensive. So, mind you, it's organic and it's, it's like, it's not pasteurized, uh, I think it, what is it, it's not homogenized, I'm sorry, and it's low pasteurization, and it's supposed to be really good for you because it keeps almost all of the stuff that's in the milk in, in there, in it. Um, long story short, though, that, that, for two sticks of butter, or no, for four, they want seven dollars. I mean, so it's just, the price of butter is just getting crazy, and again, it's just better and easier to just get this organic whipping cream and do it this way. So I don't know, if, can you see it on there? Mm -hmm. It's actually starting to become like, it looks like whipped cream almost, like a very runny whipped, whipped, whipped cream. Daddy. Yes, baby. Mm. Yeah, that's you. So little by little, minute that minute by minute, it's it gets thicker and thicker and thicker. So that probably helps. It looks like I readjusted the, the, the settings on the phone a little bit so you can kind of see. <laughs> The thickness and the frothiness. Can you come in a little closer just to see the position? <laughs> so it's just, it's still just, now it's becoming like a firmer whipped cream. get stiffer and stiffer. Now there are some times when we've had to stop the, don't touch the, that we've had to stop the, the, uh, the whole little production and like get it off of the sides because it, it starts to get, it's like, like you could probably see now, it's clumping together and the color is actually changing. It's becoming, it's going from like the, the bright kind of white that we know is milk maybe a, like a slightly off-white. Now it's actually like a yellow kind of, a yellowish color is coming out. or coming into it now. You might be able to see that, like the clumpiness.
So this is normally where I would kind of pause for a moment. And I'm going to just grab something to, to kind of push this down. And it's just, a, all I'm doing is just pushing it down so it's getting all of it evenly. And nothing is kind of left out. We did that, I saw that happen last time when we made this butter. It basically like little portions of this kind of whipped cream portion or whatever this is considered where it was not fully mixed in so you had a, there were like little pieces of this and you know on top of the butter which wasn't a problem for us but it just was something that i noticed so i don't know if you can make it out on the on the, on the, on the, the video but it's actually starting and it's getting even more yellow now I'm just pushing it down in there so it's even to get it evenly. Mm -hmm. So it's now not clumped together as much. It's separating again, it looks like. Like it, the, the consistency has changed once again. So it, a moment ago it was just very clumpy. Hold on, that's it. It was very clumpy. Now it's, uh, I don't know how to describe this, but it's, it's kind of back to it's kind of like got some air in it it looks like it's a little less less thick So we're just kind of throwing the, the little pieces of uh, what's turning into the butter. This is kind of the beginning stages of this butter now. It's like grabbing a clump and throwing it. So it, it was a little little runny a moment ago. Now it's becoming thick, and thick again. Now it's very dense. Like I'm having trouble now pushing it on the side, pushing it down. And, it's, and I think that's only because it's just starting to form again and turn into the butter. The way it looks kind of to me now, okay, look at it. so it's now like it's kind of to me it looks it, like it just changed a little bit more. Uh, I mean, again, but it looked like cottage cheese almost for a second, like that kind of dry cottage cheese or some type of cheese that you can you see in the store that the. The curded, I think I don't know what kind of cheese it is, but it's kind of curded up. Now, right now, you, it, I don't know if you can see it in the video, but it's about to, as it's doing this now, just like at the very, very bottom of the bowl, it's starting to, in the middle, it's starting to separate again. But now it's, it's separating from the butter to the butter milk. That's what, oh, stop, stop. Separating from the butter to the butter milk and the butter milk. So in the end result, the end product that you have, you normally have like two sticks. If you use one pint of this uh, heavy whipping cream, you have like two sticks of butter, and then I think it's like one cup of butter milk, which my wife uses to uh, actually bake with. And we just try to, you know, fit in extra calories where we can. You know, for our kids, because they're, they're not they're not obese or anything like that. They're, kind of, they're very, you know, we just try to fit in extra calories wherever we can. But I don't know if you can see it now, but it's kind of reduced all the way down on its own into this 
like kind of little chunky little, it almost looks like scrambled eggs that you might get at like a hotel or something. Wow. Alright, I've got to actually slow this down now because oops, it's shooting buttermilk everywhere. Like, I don't know if you just noticed that in the video or if you were able to see it, but it, it out of nowhere, it just kind of jumped from being, being on the sides to now just being butter and buttermilk, like I was saying before. So, this is pretty much the, the last step. This is it. There's not really much to do after this except for what my wife does, she likes to squeeze the butter out, you know, make sure that we get as much butter milk out of it as we can, so that the what butter that we, the butter is not wet, but, because, uh, and it's like, honestly, you can't tell the difference between this and, like, store-bought butter, so, here it is, it's all clumped inside of this, and you might be able to see it, it's wet, so it's, it's the consistency of butter, so, like, it's, it just turns into oil on my fingers, like the fattiness of it. So basically that's it. All they do, all my wife does is she just kind of squeezes it, not so much with her hands, but maybe with like a spatula or something like this to get that out. Now something that I, I want to show real fast is here's the, the beginning, the, the like the buttermilk that's in there right now. Oops. So this is what she uses to bake with, like when people are talking about buttermilk you know, pancakes and buttermilk biscuits and all that type of stuff. That's all this. The, all, that's all this is. They're just using the the milk water that was in the butter making process. So I don't know why they use it or if it's better or whatever. But this is what my wife uses now whenever we make the butter. But and you could probably still see it. This this butter up here is still dripping down. But that's it. You know, all you have to do is just put it in some kind of container. We have like some leftover Gerber food jars from when. My, from when the kids were very little, like this, so we just, we basically force it out of that into here and kind of pat it down real nice after we get it the way we want and put, throw the lid back on top of it and throw it in the refrigerator and that's it. So this is the end result. So you have, of course, so we started with the heavy whipping cream. And here are the two things that it makes. So you've got the butter, of course. This is how much it makes. And, you know, this is a bowl. I mean, it's it makes quite a bit. Um, and then here is some buttermilk, the, 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 the liquid that came from uh, off of the, that separated from the butter. Now, this is not the same buttermilk that comes in, that you can buy in the store. It's a, It doesn't smell as sour. And it's, it's a bit, is it butter? It's a bit thinner than, than the stuff that you buy in the store. But if you actually look in there, you can kind of see on the side of the glass the fat, uh, kind of little fat glo uh, globs in there of the like this the milk. So this is what it looks like in the bowl after we were done. Um, my wife went ahead and she just like kind of cleaned it off. Sorry, but yes, that's this is how much butter you actually can produ uh, get, produce from just a just a regular or you know organic pint sized. Uh, container of milk, you know, like that's it. So I mean, it was three dollars and fifteen cents at, at the at the, the organic store called Natural Grocers, or or it used to be called Vitamin Cottage. And here's what you have. So and again, you can use this in baking, is what my wife normally does. And, and all else, we normally use it with pancakes, is what she told me. But yes, so that's this is about you know if you actually pack it into the something small or into some some type of container or vessel. It, we actually weighed it and everything like that. It's about two. It's about two sticks of butter in total.